Okay, uh, when you get a new enclosed trailer, it's great and all, but it's just a big empty box. And there's not a whole lot of ways to fasten your, uh, whatever you're hauling in there and, and not worry about it sliding around, moving around, falling over, whatever. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I set mine up so I can use it to basically haul anything. Okay, I've been waiting for a little warmer day to get this video done. Um, so, what's all this stuff on my table? Um, if you've ever owned an enclosed trailer, you know when you buy it, basically, there's nothing but an empty box. Um, there really is not a lot of things set up in it yet to uh, stabilize whatever it is you're hauling to keep it from moving around. Um, yeah, if you're going to load a load a couch in there or some plywood on the floor or whatever, you don't really have to worry about it moving around. But if you're hauling a motorcycle, you're hauling a refrigerator or all kinds of different things that you can utilize these trailers for, you need a way that's easy to strap it, hold it, secure it and utilize it more. So my good friends at dccargomall.com has all your answers. And I'm gonna show you how I outfitted this trailer. I bought this trailer brand new last summer. And late in the summer, I started uh, installing all the stuff to make it more usable for me. Um, dccargo.com mall dccargomall.com has everything you see in here that's mounted on the walls and makes it easy to secure hold haul anything you can imagine um, and, and I love this stuff it's so versatile you can move stuff around I've mainly right now got this set up to haul my uh, remote control planes um, and I wanted it to do that, but I wanted to be able to unload them at a, in a fairly easy manner so I could use it to haul other things. I've got a motorcycle um, that I want to haul uh, and, and just use it for going to get stuff for around the house, whatever. You just you use a trailer for so many things. So I did this. Um, what they have is these e-track systems and all the tools you can possibly imagine to go with it. Um, everything you see, this shelf, everything wouldn't be here if it wasn't for these E-Track setups. Um, I've got the E-Track the e setup here. Um, this comes from dccargomall.com. It's so handy for all my tools all, that I take to the field with me to fly my uh, big RC planes. I love these these little shelves that can be moved around. Um, this type of bucket thing, I store some smoke fluid and oil and things in. You've, they've got these types of straps that you can mount anywhere. You have your track set up to help secure things. It's so freaking handy. I, I just don't know how else you can you would do it that makes it so easy to do. Um, this thing here I love. I got from it works great. It holds my different straps I have in here, carry with me all the time. So if you're hauling moving stuff, you've always got them right there handy. Um, I bought this is the motorcycle kit that I can drive my motorcycle into. Uh, I just got it hanging there for now, but I bought this piece mounted to the floor um, that that clips into. Uh, because when you get one of these trailers, pretty much about the only thing mainly comes with it is these 
mine had these D rings in the corner that are nice heavy mount D rings, but that's it. There is nothing else on the walls or anything to fasten anything to. So you got to think, well, how am I going to do this? Um, so the motorcycle mount, I, uh, it's a small kit, uh, comes with a little piece and underneath you get these backer plates. I don't know if you can see them right there. Uh, that mount so it's nice and strong. Uh, I think my motorcycle weighs, if I remember right, 900 pounds. Um, it's a Harley Ultra Classic. Um, but these are some new items I'm adding to my arsenal here that I got from DC Cargo Mall. Uh, all this is cool stuff. This. This here is a magnet mounted LED rechargeable light, uh, which is so handy. You can put it wherever you want, mounted to one of these rails. So that's going to come in super handy when you're working in here. I set up my trailer so that I've got an electric outlet here I can hook my generator too, which I carry with me to the field because I needed to charge batteries for these big planes and stuff. But uh, I've got a set of lights in here. When I'm parked in the barn at home, I plug it into the wall and I can work in here if I need to be and I can see what I'm doing. So that was one thing I did. Um, all these different clips, I've, you can get all this stuff depending on what you're wanting to use it for, all of it from DC Cargo Mall. Uh, very affordable. It has turned my trailer into something that makes it more usable for so many more things. And I don't, I feel like I'll use the trailer a lot more rather than it just setting. You see a lot of people buy trailers and they just set and set and set and they use it two, three times a year and that's it. I plan on using this a lot, so. Um, so that's the LED light. Uh, this here, I haven't got the fire extinguisher for it for yet, but I plan to mount. And it's pretty interesting. Let me set this camera here. Uh, so you can you take this, and there's your little clip. Mount that on the wall, wherever we're gonna put this. We can uh, put a mounter fire extinguisher into this holder, tighten it up by these two screws here, and then mount it on here, just like so. And you can then you can move your fire extinguisher anywhere you want it. Um, I chose, you know, to run three of these E-Tracks in my trailer a lot of people might not run the top one up there, but I did because I wanted to hang bigger planes from it that go way down. I don't want them touching the floor like this. So let's kind of look at another piece that I think is interesting. I may not use it as much in the trailer, but definitely in, a, in my barn to store my bicycles. Um, We've got some electric bikes and regular bicycles, but this is a bicycle hanger. Real cool, very affordable. I don't remember the cost, but it wasn't much. Very nice, easy way to hang the bike. And you could use it in the trailer and secure it. Let me see if I can get this. I got a bike sitting right here. We'll hang it up there. And there you go. And I can see this really being utilized in a garage. You can hang it up on the wall out of the way. You can buy a small piece of E-Track if you need, or a long one to put all kinds of hangers and stuff on and hang anything on it.
So let me get that down because I want to show you something else. It's kind of cool. This trailer is kind of becoming a secondary little shop for me. To just come out and work on a, an airplane or something. Um, so, other things. This is cool. I'm always looking for somewhere to put my trash. It has the E-Track e clips on it. I can hang it anywhere I want, throw my trash in there, and when I'm done at the end of the day or when it gets full, I can just go dump it and put it back in there. It's even got some pockets and things here on the side. I can put a can of pop or two in there just while I'm doing drinking. Um, these things here are the coolest. So for my purpose, I needed a way to haul my big planes, my big gas engine airplanes. So these actually, let me get, get these two. So I took them out for this demonstration. So I mount one there. I mount one right here. And now I have a temporary way to set this plane up so it's off the ground. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I'll get it in and then we'll. Okay, so just like that, I've got a place setting that up off the floor. I run a couple straps around the plane, it does not move. Um, I have put a screw in each one of these uh, to thinking that it might jump out of here, but I, I don't think with an airplane on it, it's not gonna do that. But uh, I did put a screw in each one after I have them in here. It takes 30 seconds to get them out um, and get this out of your way. So that's how I utilize them things for this. I also use them up here to make my shelf. Um, if you can see, or my, my bench, we'll call it, there's a little piece of E-Track there. There's E-Track back here, all the way up to the nose cone or point in the trailer, all the way around. And you can see under here that I used the the same piece that I just showed you here, here, and here on both sides. Now the difference, these pieces here you can buy, they rotate. So if you're wanting an odd angle like I'm doing here, that's what they're for. So look at great. So this is not permanent in the trailer. If somebody was buying this off me or something, they didn't want this in here, or I don't want it in here, I can take it out very quickly. So it's nothing permanent. And I love it. So just a few more things. These here, really like the idea of these. These are, uh, they show them on their site, use them to, uh, Hold your weed eater, but you could hold anything and everything that would set in there. Um, they're a spring loaded little thing. You set one here, one here, however far apart you need to, lay your weed eater across it, and then you pull this and latch it down. I could see me using that a lot, and I'm thinking maybe I might even get more of them. I love that. Love that option. 
um, something else. This toilet or this paper towel holder, that's a magnetic mount. It's, it's very strong magnets. I can move it around. This is where I ended up putting it for my, for my towels. Um, I guess I didn't show you that. So there's another one of these. These are spring loaded ratchet straps and I'm really looking forward to using these uh, anybody knows that when you're strapping something down it's like what do you do with all the extra strap um, these can be actually bolted to a trailer here on this end and here on this end or you can bolt this right to here with the included bolts right here and then you can mount it into the e-track on this end and this end pull out however much you need and tighten it down and there it is uh, so i really like them and i think uh, i don't remember exactly the cost you can get a set of two of these you can get them in different widths uh, really super cool this is another little thing you wouldn't think as much, but when you're strapping and looking for different links, these both have the E-Track e clips on the ends, and they're elastic, uh, uh, really strong elastic, which is adjustable. So we can straighten them out and shorten them up or lengthen them. Well, I guess it was at, at their most length is here. But you can buy these in different lengths too. So I don't remember. This is a 12 inch to 22 inch adjustable bungee. Love that idea. Um, this here, another fasten to your E-Track system. It's a uh, cord holder. So you can carry your cord with this handle, wrap your electric cord, your extension cord in here and it's uh, Velcro. Pretty handy. Got one of them in there. This is the second one I got. What else? Got this new basket, which is not sure where we're going to put that yet. Possibly right here. Look at that. Just instantly I have a place to put things. How many times are you looking for things to put things or places to put things that you'll know where it is the next time you look? And this super cool. A big old cargo bag type thing store your tools in or whatever heavy duty feels like heavy duty vinyl type but it nothing's gonna that you'd haul in there is gonna tear it zip zips the top and get this open and you got a just a big place to throw a bunch of stuff each clips for the e tracks on it. So I'm really happy since I've got all this stuff. Um, and DC Cargo Mall, man, that's a way where to get it. If if it shows it's in stock on their site, order today, you'll have it within two or three days. Um, they've been great, and I, every time I'm on there, I see something else I could use. Not not only just in the trailer, but in uh, on my utility trailer, in my garage. Uh, it's just really changed how I'm gonna use this trailer. So I, I wanna do a short video of it and, and kind of talk about it. If you have any questions, comment in the below. Uh, and if you haven't already, uh, take a minute and just like and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, plan on doing more and more videos like this. Um, if you have any questions about anything in here, that I utilized, uh, let me know. 
Uh, I'll put links in the description to these different products, where they're at on their site, and, and to dccargomall.com, and really appreciate them and all the products they carry. Uh, I was just sitting here thinking while I was doing this, I did leave out one other thing. I needed a custom type shelf made just to haul my, my flight things that I take out to the field with me, gasoline. Uh, and so they've got shelf brackets that even mount into these. So I bought a set of those uh, and then just made my shelf the size I wanted it. Um, the only thing I remember uh, doing with this, and maybe I could have done it a little differently, is once you have the shelf made and screwed on there, it's hard to, harder to get it to clip into the track without having some space back here. So uh, I left just enough space to where I could clip it on there and then screw it on. I guess I could have mounted the brackets, then screwed the shelf to it back flush against the trailer, but I, I want to be able to take things in and out of here quickly, so that was that, but I do still like this. It's very handy and very sturdy. So that should about do it on this video. Thanks for riding along with me for a minute. Hope I didn't bore you too much, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.